Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvi and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will discuss multiplying fraction with its reciprocal. We will start the lesson with this problem. Read and analyze the problem. Sal loves preparing foods. He prepared burger patties for his three friends who visited him. He puts one third kilogram of ground beef for every patty he makes. How much ground beef did he use for the burgers? We can analyze the problem by answering the following questions. Who loves to prepare food? Stell loves to prepare food. Then how many friends of Stell visited him? His three friends visited him. And how many kilograms of ground beef did he put for every patty? Okay, so Stell used one-third kilogram of ground beef for every patty. And for the fourth question, how much ground beef did he use for the burgers? So we can answer the fourth question by multiplying three and one-third. Here's how we solve the problem. So the solution is we're going to find the product of 3 and 1 third. So isulat muna natin yung mga given numbers or given fraction. So we have 3 times 1 third. Then since we are dealing with the whole number and the simple fraction, we're going to express first the whole number to fraction by using 1 as the denominator. So magiging 3 over 1. Then, copy natin yung one-third. Then, we can now proceed with multiplication of fraction, wherein we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominator. So, 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 times 3 is 3. Then, simplify your answer if possible. So, since 3 over 3 ang nakuha nating answer, 3 over 3 is equivalent to 1 whole. So the final answer is, Stel used 1 kilogram of ground beef for the burgers. Okay, so let's study these examples. We have 3 over 7 times 7 over 3. So when we multiply 3 over 7 by 7 over 3, we will get 21 over 21 which is equivalent to 1 whole or to 1. Then, another example is 5 over 1 times 1 over 5. When we multiply the two fractions, we will get 5 over 5 which is also equivalent to 1. So, anong napapansin nyo sa dalawang pair ng fraction? Okay, so, pansin nyo that the denominator of the first fraction becomes the numerator of the next fraction. And its numerator becomes the denominator of the next fraction. Then we say that these fractions are reciprocals. So kapag minultiply natin ang isang fraction sa kanyang reciprocal, we will get an answer na 1. We will get an answer of 1. So pansinin nyo yung reciprocal, 5 over 1. Kunin natin yung reciprocal niya, 1 over 5. So we will get an answer of 1 Okay, so we have to remember that a number is a multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of another when we get 1 as the product after multiplying the given fraction to its reciprocal. So, example nito is 3 over 7. Ang reciprocal niya is 7 over 3. When we multiply the two fractions, we will get an answer of 1. Then, 1 over 5, the reciprocal of 1 over 5 is 5 or 5 over 1. The imaginary 1 dito sa ating denominator. So, vice versa siya. If we're going to get the reciprocal of 7 over 3, we're going to use 3 over 7. Then, reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5.
So how about multiplying mixed number with its reciprocal? These are the steps in multiplying a mixed number by its reciprocal. So for example, we have 2 and 5 over 6. So we change first this mixed number to improper fraction to get the reciprocal of this mixed number. So, paano natin i-change itong mixed number sa improper fraction? When we say improper fraction, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Okay, so i-multiply lang natin yung ating denominator na 6 sa whole number na 2. Then, i-add natin ang numerator. So, 6 times 2 is 12. Then, add the numerator 5. We will get 17. And copy the same denominator. So, uh, pag change natin yung mixed number na 2 and 5 over 6 to improper fraction, we will get 17 over 6. Okay, so after natin ma-change yung ating mixed number to improper fraction, we can now get the reciprocal of the improper fraction. So, paano natin kukunin ng reciprocal yung, yung denominator ng first fraction? magiging numerator ng second fraction and then yung numerator ng first fraction ay magiging denominator naman ng ating second fraction and that should be equal to 1 kapag minultiply natin yung dalawang fraction okay then cross cancellation by dividing the GCF then multiply the numerators and the denominators so, magko-cross cancellation tayo. Ang 17 at 17 ay pwede natin i-cancel. Ang kanyang GCF is 17, so may matitirang 1. Ang 6 and 6 ay pwede natin i-cancel. Ang kanyang GCF ay 6, so 6 divided by 6 is 1. Then, multiply na natin lahat ng natirang uh, number. So, 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1, and that is equal to 1. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.